Paige Steers, and we're here at Greenbuild in Chicago bringing the inside scoop on what's really been talking about here at the conference. I'm here with Bill Valentine, who is talking about water conservation. Bill, I know you're an expert in this arena. What is really some of the measures that are making an impact in commercial buildings when we think about water conservation? Well, on our end, uh, our company deals with the uh, smaller supply and repair parts. So we see people paying a lot of attention to reduce GPM on aerators, uh, shower heads, and also paying attention on the flush valves, um, making sure the right parts are in there, uh, valve and fixture match, and dual flush technology also. And how much can this impact a building? It's, it's a huge impact, I mean, uh, and it's simple. Uh, a lot of this stuff is going to be replaced anyway, so to make sure that you're using the parts that are right, taking, say, an aerator down from a 2.2, which is going to be standard as set by um, EPA, take it to a 0.5, especially, say, where you have um, thinner soap products. We don't have to be rinsing our hands as long. The aerator is going to be replaced, replace it with something that makes sense, make sure that the flush valve is working properly, you've got the right parts inside it, and when you can, go to dual flush technology. Well, that sounds helpful. Are there a lot of other things or really adoption that you're seeing when it comes to water conservation happening today? Has it really changed? I think in the 80s, it was a good idea. And there were great gimmicks out there, little discs you put in things to stop water, and we were dropping milk cartons and toilet tanks and, and all that. But today, the manufacturers are on board with it. It matters to them. Uh, this has legs and it will uh, stay. And so the products that are out there are real. They, they work for the people using them, they work for the companies manufacturing them. Is there anything here at Greenbuild, Bill, that you're really looking forward to hearing from or any of the speakers that you really think are going to be highlights here at the show? Actually, for me, it's, it, it really is the vendors and seeing what they're coming up with because th that's what's going in our industry and for the end user at the buildings, you know, with a, a focus on making sure that buildings are being uh, maintained now in this economy. Not a lot of retrofits may be happening the way they wanted to, so let's keep the parts, the fixtures working right. And vendors are, are aware of that, and they're coming up with good solutions and a lot of low-cost solutions for people to kind of uh, make sure the building is operating properly. Well, perfect, Bill. Thank you so much for sharing your insights and keeping our eyes on the importance of water conservation when we're thinking about efficiency. Stay tuned. We'll be back with more insights from Greenbuild.